everybody. Having a little bit of technical difficulties. Sorry about that. How's everybody doing? Who we got on? All right, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you some of my um, thrift store finds and we're gonna change them up. We're gonna start with this um, snowman that I got for a quarter. And he came with this scarf. I didn't like it with the color scheme, so I changed out the scarf. I added some holly and some berries. And this is a sleigh that I picked up for 99 cents. It was real wobbly. There was no uh, supports on the bottom. So I hot glued some supports and it's standing perfectly now on its own. So it just needed a little bit of TLC. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him in here he still has some uh, stone or whatever in him. And any time I get anything that is made of cloth that I cannot wash, I use um, my Norwich mattress cleaner on it. What it does is it takes care of anything in there. It's all natural. It just eats away at the dust mite, feces, and anything that could be possibly in there because um, I, I can't handle stuff like that. Hello, Muriel, welcome from Canada. How are you? So I use that on just about everything fabric that I can't spray. Now basically everything in here is from the thrift store except my ornaments. And I got six of these from Big Lots. And I painted them today. They were all gold. I wanted them brown. So I painted the bottoms with regular acrylic paint and then sprayed it with a matte finish, acrylic matte finish. If I don't see your comments or your questions, I will go back at the end. Hi, Michelle. I will answer any questions you have. Now basically what I did, even the styrofoam came from a thrift store. It was 79 cents. So I went ahead and I cut it up and I have this ribbon that's not wired. So I wrapped them and I'll show you how I did because I left one undone. But what I did was I cut it the ribbon just a little bit bigger than the box itself. So I have the edges turned or over and then the next piece I trimmed real tight and I'm just gonna glue that. I know I plugged that in, excuse me. We didn't lose anybody, did we? Good, I hope not. All right, it'll just take that a minute to heat up. And then I'll show you, I have, you know, these little grape vineries that you get. Well, I took one and I glued just some pine to it. And it's artificial, of course, and I'm going to hang it on the side. So I have some colored balls, a colored ball pick. I don't think I can use that for anything else. So we're just going to chuck that see if this is on yet it's coming so what I'm gonna do I have this little tree so I'm gonna put this little tree in the back here too I also took some skewers and I covered it with the uh, deco mesh tubing because what I want to do is I want to glue that into the sleigh on both sides because I'm gonna glue my reindeer to it 
and I want it to stay with the sleigh. So basically we'll go ahead and work on that. And I just didn't want the color of the skewer to show through. That's why I covered it with the deco mesh tubing. And it's okay if this leans down because once I glue it to the reindeer, it's going to stay upright. I hope. <laughs> so anybody joining us, what I've done is I'm always watching for garage sale and thrift store finds. So, and you know, I usually do my second chance Saturday and I haven't done it in a while. So I thought, okay, let's save up what I have and let's make some different things out of it. Okay. So basically I glued the tips into the, the basket. I'll just go down here and see if I can see any comments. Hi, Rita. Hello, hello. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these in place. I figured with all of them, we should be able to support this. And I think these, okay, the reindeer were four, six dollars at Big Lots. So that's the only thing that I've paid for the most on this is the reindeer. Because he was 25 cents, the sleigh was 99 cents. This I had, this I had, this I had. Even the styrofoam, I paid 79 cents for, and I used that to make the um, the presents. So, I'm just gluing these to the skewer that's covered by the deco mesh. I love looking for different things and turning them into something else. A lot of times it's just the color that speaks to me. If I see the color and I think it's something I can use, then I buy it. This one, I ended up changing his um, scarf. I used some wire ribbon that I had because I didn't like the color of his scarf. It didn't match what I was trying to accomplish. Oops, put that on the wrong side. We'll have to use that one for the front. I may have to go back and put this on some kind of a platform just to get it to stay. And I'm probably going to have to snip that a little bit. I'm going to get some more deco mesh. I thought I had another piece here. Yikes. I got so much stuff piled up. I know it was here. Let me grab another piece. Sorry about that. Come on. Probably put some bows on this anyhow to kind of disguise that. All right, so this guy is going to be our um, 
our root off. So I kind of want, I think, let's see. That looks too big. Let's see if this looks any better. That doesn't look right either. So we're going to go with this because we're going to put Rudolph in the front. Thank you, Rita. There. So we got to make this look kind of real. I'm going to take him and glue him on both sides. Because he's going to be out front. And I'll probably put a bow on the front and then some bows in between. Come on, Rudolph. Don't fail me now. There we go. All right. Can you guys see okay? Hi, Connie. Do I need to, like, bring it down for you? Does that kind of help? He's going to give me some trouble. I may have to rethink my design here a little bit. Or put him... I could put something on the bottom for the whole thing and then cover it with snow. So it'll make it look like, you know, he's in the snow. Hi, Chad. Oh, Chad said he loaded a new video of... Miss Miracle. You know, there's a few that kind of want to see that. So. Oh, we're going to put a bow on there. But see, okay, now we're going to work on this. This is going to hang on the side. This is going to be a little wreath on the side of the sleigh. All right, so I'm going to glue the ribbon on it for the top. And I'm going to put this right there. thing that I'm into for this sleigh is the reindeer. Everything else was under a dollar. Now what I'm going to do, because I want it to look very festive, so I'm going to cut a bunch of these off. And we're going to glue them on this wreath to make them look like it has Christmas balls on it. So we've got five balls. Try to do this without burning your fingers. Probably can't see it, can you? Let me move that. So all I'm doing is gluing these into place to decorate it. We've got our little wreath that's going to hang over the side of the sleigh. So let's get that in place. 
and I want that to go right here. So I'm just gonna glue the ribbon down. I'm gonna use a skewer and hold it down until it sets so I don't burn myself again. There we go. And that's going to hang on the side of our sleigh. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. Okay. So that's decorating the side of our sleigh. Can y'all see it okay now? Hi, Wilhelmina. There's my girl, friend. All right, now this was on the bottom of the um, Christmas tree. I'm actually going to glue it in place in here because the presents are going to sit on top of that. Okay. Now... We've got the two presents here, but I'm going to show you again how I did the other one. Okay, I wrapped it around this way and, you know, pulled in the sides. And then the next piece I trimmed flush. So when I um, glue this, you shouldn't see any of the styrofoam. And believe it or not, the ribbon is kind of thick, so I haven't burned myself on that yet. <laughs> if you have any it's not sealed, just go around your sides and seal it in place. Get all the webbies off. Then what I'm going to do, I thought I'd take some of this rope. Goes back. And just make like a rustic bow on them. Trying to see where my end is. I sealed it so good now I don't know. There it is. Just want to make them look rustic. Yay! The double door um, witches hats look really cute. Okay, so there's one present for the sleigh. I already did these two. We're using just thrift store finds today except for the reindeer. There's another present. We're just going to fill up his sleigh. This will probably end up going to the grandkids. They've got Frankenstein that I gave them hanging on their front door. Oh, cool. 
cool. That'd be awesome. If you guys haven't thought about it, you ought to consider joining our group. Because there's a lot of stuff I've been doing and giving away. And I'm going to only be doing it in our group now. Alright, so we got some presents there. And then we're going to stick a little Christmas tree in there. And I'll probably use these along the side. You know how sometimes it looks like there's lights on Santa's sleigh? I'll we'll just use these as lights. And then it'll cover up that hole where I had to add the extra mesh tubing. Now, the only thing I have to figure out is how to finish off the front. So, let me think here a minute. Um, 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 um. I could probably do this. Yeah. Let's use that cover up the front, like that, and when I added this to the little wreath on the side, when I glued it on, this piece of pine was really too big for the little wreath, so I just went around and trimmed it, okay, very easy to do. I like that. Hi, Lillian. Welcome. There, so that totally covers up the end. And then we can put this last piece on there. We could add ribbon on there. Let's add a little rustic bow to the front. Just something to give it a little pizzazz. Yeah. There's that. And then we'll put our little ball right under there. we go. There's our sleigh. Can y'all see it okay? So all I did was he was 25 cents. The sleigh was 99. Needed some repairs. The, um, the frame underneath was not hand, was not operating very well, so I added two supports underneath. Okay. The styrofoam was also from the thrift store for 79 cents. All I did was wrap the presents. For him, I added some berries, some leaves. I changed his scarf. To go with the colors for the sled and then we added a little wreath on the side we took a little pine wreath all oh, thanks and then we painted that's our only big expense was the reindeer because they were six dollars from big lots okay 
So we went ahead and painted them brown and then put a clear coat on them. So that's it. And that'd be cute on any table, any entryway, anything. And these are skewers that we covered with deco mesh tubing that we glued into the sleigh. And that's it. There's our little sleigh. So total, we have about $8. And that's a wicker one. So that's a pretty decent sleigh. Just needed some work on the, uh, on the frame. All right, put that down there. Now, this is our next project, okay? This, this one piece ornament, thank you, Connie, was 99, or excuse me, 29 cents, all right? It had a pink scarf, so all I did was mod podge the scarf and put some, some red glitter on it. Of course, this was fabric, so I didn't trust it. I sprayed it with my Norwex mattress spray to kill any bacteria, any bugs, anything on there. It was already stuffed and the top was closed. So what I did was I had a piece of square styrofoam that you could actually see through. So I'm going to wrap it in white so you can't see it. Okay, just as a cover. And that's like a hard, um, rough kind of um, felt. It's not the soft felt, it's the stiff felt. That's what it's going for. The stocking was only 59 cents. And I probably got it on a Wednesday, and Wednesday is senior day, and it's 20% off on Wednesdays. Okay? So we've got... 79 cents, 29 cents, and a piece of styrofoam from the Dollar Tree. Now the bottom is all stuffed. So what I want, I want that in there like that. Okay. All right. So we're going to have to fill this with some moss, I think. And I thought I had some here. usually right there okay it's not I'll find it later all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this in the middle well actually more towards the front okay because see when I was looking I think I got this from trends and gems at the um, the wreath gala in Rochester so this is the only expensive piece in the set. All right. I'm going to trim a little bit off because I don't need that much. Everybody says that. Anytime, Wilmina, you come on down or up. <laughs> I love thrift store shopping. And they know me too. They're like, I think we got some stuff you can use. All right, so I'm actually just gonna stick this down in here. Actually gonna make it a little bit shorter because it does still does not need to have any length on here. I find the bargains. I'm a big one about recycling. I don't like throwing stuff out. I want to recycle. I don't want to leave it in the landfill. So, all right, so we've got that on the top. And actually when I'm done, I can just cover this with some cotton and you won't even see it, okay? All right, now our guy here is a little 
little loosey goosey. So we're going to give our, and that was probably 20% off of the 29 cents too. But see, I'm showing you, you don't have to spend a lot to create something unique. Okay. Now see how the colors go on this? So I think I can cut some of this off too. We don't need all that. I kind of want this over here. And I'm going to glue it, keep it in place. I'm going to glue that one. And I can go ahead and pull some of this up and put that in there to hide it. And then put some more white fleece on there. Isn't that cute? Now we can go ahead and we can add more balls if we wanted. We can add a bow. Let's see what we got here. Um, I did have one. Where was it? I know I had one that would match that. Wasn't this one, was it? No. Um, this one. Not really. Um, Nope. Let me just think here a minute. Here it is. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Alright, I thought this was kind of nice because this had the red and the green. But yet still had like this. It wasn't total red, so it wasn't going to mess with that. So let's see. And this is one-sided, so I'm doing it this way because I want to keep the good side on top. And boy, has this got glitter. Jeez. But it matches the point set up perfectly. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do seven. Gonna take a pipe cleaner. And I can use a ball, a red ball in the middle here too, if I want. I do have these green and red that kind of go with this too. So I can add that. I know. And remember we were over at um, Trends and Gems table? This was the only one she had. Because I was looking for another one. But at that time I didn't have this. So I knew I'd be able to find somewhere for it to go. Wow. I'm going to have glitter everywhere upstairs. Hmm. Well, Victoria, try going out and coming back in again. Is anybody else having trouble with the volume? All right. 
I don't know. I think it's too big. Let me try just a small, simple one and see if we like that better. Thank you. Yes, Alana's stuff is incredible. I don't dare go back in on their website. Yeah, I think just a simple bow. I think that's too big. It overshadows the poinsettia. Try going back out, Kathy, and coming back in. Because everybody is saying it's fine. So try that. And see if that helps. Thank you. So yeah, I think just a simple bow is just enough. Alright, now how am I going to attach this? Let me think here. Alright. I do this sometimes. I fold it, fold it over on itself, and then tie it. And then I can probably either sew or hot glue this tie to the I have to turn this around just so I can see what I'm doing here. Let me trim off some of this because we don't need all that. don't think I'll hot glue it. I think what I'll do when I'm done, I'll go back in and I'll sew it. But I want to get it in place so I can show it to you how it looks. And I don't know if it needs any of this up there. These I got when I went to Hobby Lobby with Wilhelmina and her husband. I love these. Let's see. You need any? Wouldn't hurt. Just something with a little bit of different finish on it. Okay. So there we go. The only thing that was the expense was the poinsettia. Alright, I'm going to hot glue it. Hey Steve, how are you? You're not late, Teresa, don't worry. All right. I'm just going to hold it a minute. So the snowman pick was 29, the stocking was 79 or 99, and then 20% off of that. Hello, Donna, welcome. So see, you can sew a stocking, you can stuff it, and use that. I'll add a, a hanger to it, and then it can be hung on a door or a wall. I'm trying to fix it so you can see it. Hey, Levon. So can you see it? So the only thing in this group that was the expense was the pick. Everything else was not even a dollar. All right. 
So all we had was a stuffed stocking here that we sprayed with Norwex mattress cleaner to clean it up. We put a piece of foam in the top, which now that I have everything in place, I'm just going to glue that to the styrofoam and then I'll cover what's showing with some white fabric, some white fleece. Okay? How simple is that? All right, so that's number two. And for those just joining, here was number one. The only expense on this was our reindeer. They were $6. Everything else was under a dollar. Well, our snowman was only 29, 25 cents. Okay. All right, so that's the first two. Now let me get rid of some of this glitter and see if I can do the third one for you. Because this glitter is going to be everywhere. Then it'll be on the dogs. Then it'll be on the carpet. What I need is my Norwex duster. And I always forget to bring it down because that picks up glitter like that. And for those of you um, that don't know, we have a, a new private group. The subscription is $19.95 a month. We have eight designers. Now, in fact, we do Monday nights and Friday nights. Okay, this sled was $3.25% off, or 20% off, right? So we've got a small festive flyer. Now I have two ideas for this. We can one, take my snowman and he was 99 cents. Okay, and we could mount him to the top. I drilled a hole. He's got wood. So I drilled a hole all the way through and put a pipe cleaner there and thought I can put him here just as a nice hanger on the wall and so you can still kind of see the name and then I could do some greenery in back of them how did I have that let me see here I also added a bird to his birdhouse I added a little greenery here and some berries isn't he cute he's a shelf sitter all right, I think it was like this. Because I, I want to show you both ways because I kind of like both ways, but I'm not sure how I want to do it. Okay, so this would go there. And then I have some Queen Anne's lace, I think that's called. And I had some of that there. Um, that I didn't have there. So this was kind of like in here. <laughs> yep. You know me. Alright, so that was kind of around them. And it wasn't real red. It kind of went really good with his, with him. Okay, I don't think I added the cotton the first time around. So the sled was $3, 20% off. He was 99 cents, 20% off. We could add some cotton in here if we wanted. Nah. All right, so this is one way, all right, that you could do this sled and make it into a wall hanging. You could add a bow up here, which this bow, this kind of matched him and his pants. So if we wanted, we could drop him down just a little bit and put a nice little bow there. Or... This was another way. Okay, let me 
take him off. Actually, there were three ways you could do this. All right. There was this way. And these are some ice skate ornaments from Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to do this upside down so you can see it. And that's what's messing me up. All right. That went there. This kind of went here. This came from Sims. All right, then we bring some of that Queen Anne's lace back in. And then you can hang your skates from this. I just thought that this size went really well with this. And then put a simple bow. These are awesome. I saw these on Tickle Me So. Catherine hollows out this. This is all styrofoam. She actually takes scissors and hollows this out and then puts the skates on a doll for a wreath. There's skates, there's boots, um, they have it all. all right? So if we did it this way, and we just put a nice simple bow with it. Need one more. It's kind of a mini version of the big sled which I have um, one that I'm going to be doing probably in our in our group, our paid group, Team of Dreams design group. I don't have anything of what we did on Friday night down here. I should have brought something down. Just a simple little bow to hang from it. Okay, so this is this is number two. All right, we've got your skates hanging down. You've got your greenery. You've got your bow, and you can hike it up a little so you can see the some of the wording. Okay, so that's number two. Our, okay, we have the, the, oh, can somebody from our group throw the links in there for me? The link to our, our subscription group and the link to our paid group. Now, or the paid group and the free group. Let's put this, let's put this behind, right? So this would be another way you could do it. Just have your greenery and your bow. Put your greenery up top. All right, so this would be number three. Okay. Just something simple. Or number four. Now number four is my 50 cent. Okay, my 50 cent snowman. And we would basically do the same thing. Put our greenery up here. Add a little more greenery. Put him, how did I have this? Have to turn it towards me to see what I did. <laughs> I kind of had it sitting like that where he was there and then the greenery was there but I think I want it to go this way because I'm trying to 
that's it like that so i'm trying to leave the wording but wouldn't that be cute on a table also well hi debbie welcome or we could kind of put it that way and put there so there's four ways thank you dawn that you could do this put that in there or we could add snowflakes so there you go three dollars twenty percent off fifty cents twenty percent off and then the greenery i had left over from last year could even do it like that you wouldn't need the wording so there's four ways that you could do this okay out of the four ways the snowman the greenery and the bow the greenery and the skates or the greenery and the snowman which would thank you Debbie which would be your your favorite he would look so cute in the middle of your table at Christmas wouldn't he could add a bunch of balls the balls were 25 cents 20% off what I drop Could even uh, add a little tea light in here. I had one on the table that here we go. Wouldn't that be cute too? Add some little tea lights in there. A couple little tea lights. Connie likes the skates. <laughs> Connie, you need to go to Hobby Lobby and get one get the skates if they have any left I know I ordered a bunch because <laughs> I have a bunch of dolls I'm making all right what do you think of my thrift store finds one of each <laughs> so see if you go in I'm sure you, you people have them near you. You just have to kind of hit it. You know, they, they don't have everything all the time. You can order it, Connie, and sometimes they do free shipping. This is just, oh, here's one I bought. Isn't he cute? He's going to go on something. He's actually a box. He has a lid, and the lid is his hat. But look, so I can put him on something. He was 39 cents. Hi, Sue. How's my biz, bud? I showed him four ways to do this sled, and so far, I think the snowman wins. And then we did the the stuffed um, stocking and then we did the sleigh and the most expensive thing on the sleigh was the reindeer everything else was a dollar like under a dollar so what do you think are you guys gonna go look for fines now hi so there's four different ways you could do the sled the sled was three dollars the snowman was 50 cents and if you're spraying it with this norwix mattress cleaner there's not going to be anything on there that can harm anybody it will totally rid it of the germs Does anybody have any questions? We even put a little um, wreath on the side of the sleigh. Even the styrofoam for the presents came from 
the thrift store. It was 79 cents. Wasn't even unwrapped. You can always use styrofoam. All right, guys. I'm going to head out because I have to go to our subscription group. I've got to show some more finds. So it should be fun. Okay. If anybody has any questions and I didn't see them, I will go back. You're welcome. You can find things everywhere. It doesn't have to be new. A lot of this stuff is new. I mean, look at this. This is brand new. This guy was brand new. He still had tags on it. This guy was new. The sled was new. This sleigh needed a, a frame. I had to jack it up <laughs> and fix the frame. <laughs> you can always go back and look at the replay. We used a skewer and then we um, put deco mesh tubing on it to disguise it. So I think everybody kind of likes the snowman. Thank you. You too, Wilhelmina. Thank you for joining. All right, guys. I will see you again on Wednesday. <laughs> Said that just for you, Luan. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you and have a good night.